island of Taiwan used to be called Formosa, right? The beautiful in Portuguese. And I think the one place where you really find that beauty is in the Taiwanese people. Taiwan is a very safe island. Kaohsiung is an extremely safe city. And then secondly, it's beautiful. It's just a gorgeous city. We're on the, on the ocean, we're a container port city, we're clean, we uh, have a lot to do. Buddha Mountain is about 20 minutes drive from the school and it is a very large monastery with monks and nuns. It's full of history, especially the memorial center. The artwork and the statues are incredible. What we do a lot with my wife is take an afternoon and catch the ferry that crosses over the bay onto the little island of Sijin. It's 20 minutes away from our school and it's like going to a completely different world. You have the ocean in front of you, open to your eyes, it's, it, it's magnificent. It's on the other side of Monkey Mountain where we go hiking very often as well. It's really a, a beautiful area. A lot of people here really enjoy visiting the night markets. They are very lively places, so where you can try all sorts of very local street food from stinky tofu to dried squid and there's all sorts of little games and shops and, and they are, they're crowded, very, very popular. One of the most splendid vista in the island is Taroko Gorge. It's a very secluded spot that takes a long time to get to, but it really has an amazing contrast of mountain and water. Just two hours away from Gaoshan, you can take a quick taxi ride and be deposed on one of the most pristine beaches you'll find in Southeast Asia. And that's Kanting. Kanting is a big attraction for our teachers at KES because you can just spend a wonderful weekend over there and dip into the warmest of waters in the bluest of seas. When you focus on the school and the location of the school, once again safe, we're right near the ocean, we're right near a little lake, but more importantly it's just a comfortable feeling no matter where you go.